What's up guys, AP414 here, and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel now. Before we get into this one, I'm wearing a hat. My hair is honestly terrible. I know I look really, really strange in a hat. Kind of bold, kind of weird. Never really did look good in one, but it's better than seeing my hair. It's having a horrible day. Need to get a haircut soon before I go back to school. Don't want to be looking like I'm like in there. But this video is definitely not about haircuts. It's actually about FIFA 17 and how we're going to start Ultimate Team in FIFA 17. Now, I'd like to do a little guide for you guys. Of course, we're still on FIFA 16 at the moment, but I am going to be showing you three methods today on why I think I'm going to be the best at the start of FIFA 17. Now, if you guys want me to make this a regular thing, then definitely leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section. Also, check out my Premier League predictions that I did a while back, things like two or three days ago. I think they were decent, so don't, definitely go and check them out. Leave a like on the video whilst there. But without any further ado, let's get into this one. So first of all, I think the best method at the start of the game is going to be working with Barclays Premier League players. Now, the BPR is probably going to be the most the most usually in the Premier League, um, not in the Premier League, in FIFA 17, as it always is every year. Like, I don't think a lot of people <coughs> sorry boys, are going to be making Serie A League R teams. So all you need to do is go on a BPL striker and gold, and then you literally just look through here, look for a good one. One that's not like Aguero, or not one that's as low as like Jerome, or like Balotelli. You want to look for one that's kind of like in the middle. So let's have a cheeky example here. I think I saw Lloyd Remy on the other page. Let's see if we can find him again. Maybe even Bakshuayi, Pato. There's a lot of good ones. Of course, Pato won't be in it next year, but I think we are going to go with someone I found on the first page. And that's indeed Lloyd Remy. I think he's the best one i found so far. So I'm going to show you an example of what you can do with these Premier League strikers. Now at the start of the game, the people are only going to have packed Lloyd Grammys and he's going to come default in a striker position. So, what you guys are going to want to do is go on to position change, gold, then you're going to do striker to centre forward, and of course buy one, buy at the cheapest price. I don't know what it is at the moment, but of course in FIFA 17 the prices are going to be pretty high. I don't know exactly what these go for, I think it's around about 1k at the start of the game. You probably get it cheap on bid. Then you're going to have the only Lloyd Remy who is in centre forward, which is absolutely epic. Now, the next thing you want to do is go from centre forward to cam, and this is where the profits are really going to be made. So, these ones are actually very cheap. You can probably get these ones for like 500 coins in FIFA 16, even. Well, there's not a lot on the market. But then, you are going to have Lloyd Remy in cam, the only one in the game. Now, say you bought your Lloyd Remy for 1000 coins, then you bought your position changes for altogether 2k each. Then what you're going to have is a player worth 3,000 coins altogether. And then if you look on the market for Lloyd, Remy and Cam, then on FIFA at the start of the game in FIFA 17, I can tell you this now, of course there is going to be one now probably, although we'll have a little look. Um, yeah, of course there is. But it's only worth quite a lot of money. There's going to be either one, no, none up, which I don't think there is, or one up like this for 10k. You're going to have spent 3k, so you can literally list your Remy up for 5,000 coins making awesome profit right at the start of the game. Someone's bound to buy it because they're looking to try these players in new positions. And of course, yours is so demanding because the only one in that position on the transfer market. Now up second in the trading methods, we're going to be going for BPL right backs that are converted to right wing backs. Because again, you're going to have the only one on the market. So all you need to do is find a decent little right back. This actually doesn't tend to work quite well with like non-rare cards. So you don't want to go too high up. Someone like Johnson, Sanya, Neon wouldn't be bad. There's a lot of cheap little BPL right backs. I mean, Yanamat's a good one to do it with. Uh, I think he's already moved though. Jesus Gamez, perhaps. Darmian would not be a bad one. So let's just use Darmian as an, as an, as an example. All you want to do is buy, of course, the right back to right wing back card. Apply it onto your Darmian that you've just bought. And then if you go into positions in, where is it? Right wing back and have a look. There's there's not there's none. I mean, that's how it's going to be in FIFA 17 as well. Again, a lot of profit to be made. He can do it any little player. So again, I'll show you an example with Yan Man. Let's see. Buy his card, default and right back. Buy the right back to right wing back card. Looking right wing back. No one on the market. More profit for the bag. Third and final method. Another position change method, just with different positions. Go on Barclays Premier League. Go on either right mids or right forwards. Literally just not right forwards, even right wings. And then definitely just go up to like 1.6k or something like this. And find a really cheeky, good dribbling one. Um, let's have a look here. Antonio Nunes is probably going to be a right back, so I wouldn't go for him. Someone like Tora, that's a good example. Gokan Tora, he's going to be a brilliant player to go and search up. What you need to do is go and apply a position change from him to a right mid to a right wing, and then a right wing to a right forward. And again, you're going to have the only Gokan Tora at right forward for West Ham on the transfer market, and you're going to, again, be making a lot of profit. It's that simple, my friends. But again, you don't just have to do this with right wings and right mids, you can do this with left wings and left mids. Uh, let's have another look here. Nolito, that's a good example. I don't think he's going to be a, good, a bit expensive because he's going to be rare next year. If we carry on going along, perhaps Mirala, Mirala will be a good one. 
and there's a lot of new players coming into the BPL, so I can't exactly tell on FIFA 16, but there's going to be a few that you guys should look out for. We might as well just use Nonito as an example. Buy the Nonito default and left wing, and then all you need to do is actually go and apply position change, so he's an F forward, and then literally list him up in the market for whatever price gives you profit. There's no Nonito as a left forward, more and more profit going straight to the bank. But that is where I think this video is not going to have to be brought to an end. I didn't want to make it too long. I wanted to keep it under like 8 minutes or so. Um, so you guys don't indeed get bored. But if you want me to bring an episode 2 very very soon. I want to do this on a weekly basis. Probably get 5 episodes in before FIFA starts. So I'm thinking about doing that. A lot of new videos coming up on the channel. So look forward to them. But again I've told you 3 good methods today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like on it. Again let me know in the comment section. Should I continue with the series or not. I will stop if you guys don't like it, but I think you guys often do need help with the start of 17. But yeah, for now, it has been AP4 and 4 with another video. Bye bye.